So Mars Meet Me password application is an, like an add-on to the Cisco CUCM Meet Me conference application. This application adds the four main functionalities to the default Cisco Meet Me conference application. First of all, it gives you a remote start uh, facility where you need not be next to your Cisco IP phone to start off your Meet Me conference. Second, it gives you an authentication or password uh, facility to join a Meet Me conference. That's it gives security to the conference. And third also, it gives an option where you need, you can configure whether a host is required to be present in a meeting or not. So using this application, you can start or join the Meet Me conference from a Jabber client also or you can uh, start or join the Meet Me conference from any of your mobile clients, uh, from mobile phones or any PSTN IP phone. phone. So just let me show you uh, how this application works. So this application is configured using a web-based interface. So using this web-based interface, the application administrator configures the different Meet Me numbers that have been created in a call manager. And it also creates the different meeting hosts. So uh, different meeting hosts can be assigned multiple Meet Me numbers. So who can configure and maintain their own conferences, like the validity of the conference, or the passwords that is required to join these meetings uh, for which they have scheduled. So here you can configure the multiple hosts and each of each meet me number is an assigned to a host and then you can configure different meetings uh, which you want to uh, schedule for, for the different time periods so in case you want any meeting to pro uh, to be active for a long time you can give a any date val validity uh, for a particular meeting and there's two things so one is the meeting ID which is required to join the conference and then the attendee password which will be set by the host and in case is you is mandatory for a particular meeting that the host is should be present then you can enter the host password also. So in case a host password is entered, then only if the host host starts the meeting, mm, the other attendees can join this uh, mid particular conference. So using this application, you the application hides the actual meet me number. Uh, so the meet me number is not known to anyone else except the application administrator. So not even the host comes to know about this and uh, the actual meet me numbers so then you come to know only about the meeting id so for this uh, demonstration purpose let me log in as one of the hosts as his john s so there you can see now since i'm logged in using as a host i can uh, view or edit only those two meetings uh, which I have created. If I log in as an application administrator, I can view all the different meetings which have been configured by different uh, hosts. No. So what we'll do is we'll join one of the meetings uh, one by one. Uh, we'll take this meeting where the meeting ID is 1946 and the attendee password to join this meeting is 12345. So I'll just uh, join this particular meeting using this IP communicator on my laptop. So uh, all the attendees they need to dial a single IVR number. So the number right now configured for this application is 2051. Welcome to Mars Meet Me Authenticator. Please enter the meeting ID followed by hash or pound key. So I entered a meeting ID, it is one nine four six. Please enter the meeting password followed by hash or pound key. In case I enter a wrong password. Invalid input. 
Please re enter the meeting ID followed by hash or pound key. Enter the meeting ID. Four six. Please enter the meeting password followed by hash or pound key. So I enter the meeting attendee password. Meet me conference started successfully. So uh, I have joined this uh, particular meeting and now even the other attendees can also join the same. So for the demonstration purpose, I will uh, join from a Cisco Jabber client. I can also join from here also. So I'll dial the same IVR number. Welcome to Mars Meet Me Authenticator. Please enter the meeting ID followed by hash or pound key. I'll dial the same meeting ID. And then I'll also dial the same pin. You have joined the Meet Me conference successfully. So as you've seen, I first I joined from my IP communicator, then I joined from my Cisco Jabber Windows client. Uh, so it was not required for me to start a Meet Me conference from a Cisco IP phone. Similarly, I can join from my mobile phone also. So that's so I have demonstrated shown to you like how you remotely you can join from any phone, from or you can also even the password feature for a meet me conference it's a basic thing of this application which helps you giving all these four features